Over the past month, it seems the name Malott has become as iconic in Butte as the East Ridge, and it's not hard to see why, as Tommy Malott's outstanding play has lifted Montana State into the FCS championship. We all know who Tommy is on the football field, but who is he off the gridiron? I asked myself that question and figured there's no better people to give us that insight than his family. You know, Tommy is just such a phenomenal athlete. Which of you do you think he gets that from? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we both look at each other and say, where did he get it from? <laughs> don't know. Uh, Much like their son, Shane and Dinah Malott are humble, hardworking people. Married in 1996, they moved into this house nestled in the Highland Mountains when Tommy was two years old. For a family with three adventurous kids, it was an idyllic place to grow up. It has hmm. really been nice out here. And, you know, they had their motorcycles, their little four-wheelers, they ski. And for the future Montana State star quarterback living outside of town, taught him early in life the value of time management. It's funny Fourth. because it is a half an hour drive to Butte, so it's a half an hour earlier for everybody to wake up to get into town. So, so our um, early morning practices were... They were very early. A little bit earlier for us. Yeah. Those early practices would one day lead to their son being named MSU's starting quarterback. Their initial reaction? Well, let's just say they were taken by surprise. Well, at first when he told us, we thought that maybe it was a joke. <laughs> we didn't really believe that it would happen uh, and then it did. Eventually the reality that their 20 year old kid was the new signal caller for Montana State set in. Their message to him was simple. Do what you know how to do. And we just told him you know we believe in you you're gonna be just fine. Football's football whether it's at this level high school level you know, and that's what we told him. Football's football, so just play your game, and that's all you need to do. On Saturday, Malott will lead the Bobcats into the FCS title game against North Dakota State. We know where his journey has led him, but where did it begin? Well, his folks will tell you his early love of football was cultivated by none other than the late John Madden and the video game that bears his name. So he was, like, playing Madden on the Xbox? Yeah, he was playing Madden, and so his friends would come over and say, let's play a game, and he'd say, well, no, we gotta practice first. <laughs> and, and I didn't even know there was a practice mode on there, but he found it. The Bobcats head for Frisco on Wednesday while the Malots will travel to Texas on Friday. They're not sure if they'll see their son before the game, but if they do, they sure know what they'll say to him. What do you think you're going to tell him? I'm just going to hug him and kiss him and tell him, you know, no matter what happens, I love you. I'm so proud of you and your team. Go out and get it. Go out and get that national championship. Yeah, I'm just uh, so proud and uh, just so excited to watch them play and uh, always have loved it. And they, they're going to do it. They'll, they'll go get a championship. In Butte, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.